Hi, good to meet you. So good, good to, to meet you. In person, Kevin Owens looks like any other wrestling fan. It's no coincidence he is one himself. Been watching wrestling since I was 11. My parents took me to countless shows at the Bell Center, so tonight's the first time they get to come watch me over there, so it's pretty cool. Oh, oh look out, Kevin Owens! Oh. He didn't expect to make it this far, this fast. Just over a year ago, Owens joined the WWE's wrestler development program, NXT, a step that usually takes years. He was recruited by the big league after only six months. How close is Kevin Owens we see in the ring to to this Kevin? Uh, it's very close, I'd say. I'm a bit more of a loud mouth, and you know, I, I only beat people up uh, when there's ropes around us, obviously. That loud mouth, a signature of his. And that's why I'm the man! Just like his much feared finishing move. Pop up! Pop up! Cover! What makes Owens unique, though, is where he's from. In some cities, it just happens. When they announce me from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, people start booing because, you know, they're in Jonesboro, Arkansas, and they don't like Canada. That's all they know. Not all wrestlers are so upfront about their hometown, especially when it's as tiny as this place. There he is! Take, for instance, past champion Rowdy Roddy Piper, billed as being from Glasgow, Scotland. He was actually born in Saskatoon. To me, I'm always going to be like a Maryville guy. You know, I, I, every time I get to go back home, I love it. and. Uh, I don't know, it's just really important for me to be as authentic as I can. Sunday, he'll have a shot at winning his first major championship, WWE's Intercontinental title. But first, a win at home might mean just as much. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Montreal.